WPD Sports Live at Coastal Federal Field, where tonight the legends of baseball have come to Myrtle Beach in what should be a very exciting night of baseball beginning at 7.05. Tickets are still available, and if you're looking for a, a great time, come on out to the ballpark. Some of the familiar names from my childhood are here, including the man that won two World Series, Tug McGraw, the former Philly and New York Met. Let's start out. Barry Bonds hit his 64th home run today. Uh, this afternoon, Astros and Giants tied. Uh, certainly something that's helping baseball. Oh, yeah. The home run races that have been going on since... Uh since 94 actually have been wonderful for the game of baseball and I think the pitchers have been doing a great job in making a contribution to that effort. Tell me a little bit about this atmosphere, getting to play with some, some of your contemporaries and, and getting out here in a community that really is welcoming you with open arms. Well, we love the fact that people still remember us and, and by sharing our memories together we have the opportunity to do some good charitable work and all over the country there are minor league teams and other organizations that are helping to raise money for local charities, national charities, and of course, recent current events. Um, I think tonight part of the uh, fundraising effort is going to the firemen and policemen that are helping out up in New York. So to use our memories and our legacy to help in those efforts is, uh, you know, it, it, it makes you feel like you still have a little left in you, you know? It's been tough for everyone to move on for obvious reasons. Could you tell me about your flight here to Myrtle Beach? I mean, for you to get on a plane, that, that was certainly a challenge and something that all Americans are going to have to deal with. First of all, I was surprised at how many people are not flying because I got to the airport two hours early and, you know, anticipating uh, delays. And there were very few people at the airport. And then I was fine. I really didn't think too much about it until you walk down the tunnel and then you go to step from that little uh, thing that moves around, that tunnel thing, and then you step onto the airplane. And right when I made that step, I just, <laughs> do I really want to do this? And then once I got on the airplane, the stewardess was, she was cute. That helped. Oh, sure, and sure. Um, those things always help. Oh, yeah. and, and, and then when I got to my seat and I buckled in, uh, I pulled out a magazine and started reading and everything, everything got back to normal real quick after that. I know you have to go and sign some autographs, but real quick, what are the chances of me getting a fat pitch from you tonight? Nobody gets a fat pitch from the Tugger. What, what happens in these games is they're trying to like hit off a former major leaguer, and they want a real major league experience. And I'm hoping to get you 0-2, and, and I'm hoping you're wearing a helmet because I haven't had a chance to hit somebody with a baseball in a long time. Is this the ball that's going to hit me? Could be. It might just stick to your ribs. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be doing the 11 tonight, but perhaps you can come hitting, in. They wouldn't be hitting 70 home runs a year if they had to go into the batter's box with a little fear in the back of their minds now, would they? Tug McGraw, thanks so much for joining us. Take care. Good luck to you. All right. Oh, hang on. We still have sports to do. Everyone wants Tug's autograph, but we have to talk about Lou Holtz and the South Carolina Gamecocks, who take on Mississippi State tonight. Speaking of flying, the Gamecocks arrived in Starkville at 11.30 a.m. this morning. So Lou Holtz and company are now ready to go in what should be a special nationally televised contest. 